folks, well, that, that's me, a that's let, go to the please the fact checkers get okay, to work. You are unpacking a lot here, and we're still in the issue of uh, achieving prosperity. And I want to talk about uh, taxes. Uh, the fundamental difference between the two of you concerns the wealthy. Secretary Clinton, you're calling for a tax increase in the wealthiest Americans. I'd like you to further defend that. And Mr. Trump, you're calling for tax cuts for the wealthy. I'd like you to defend that. And this next two-minute answer goes to you, Mr. Trump. Well, I'm really calling for major jobs because the wealthy are going to create tremendous jobs. They're going to expand their companies. They're going to do a tremendous job. I'm getting rid of the carried interest provision. And if you really look, it's not a tax. It's really not a great thing for the wealthy. It's a great thing for the middle class. It's a great thing for companies to expand. And when these people are going to put billions and billions of dollars into companies, and when they're going to bring two and a half trillion dollars back from overseas, where they can't bring the money back because politicians like Secretary Clinton won't allow them to bring the money back because the taxes are so onerous and the bureaucratic red tape So what is so bad. So what they're doing is they're leaving our country, and they're, believe it or not, leaving because taxes are too high and because some of them have lots of money Money outside of our country, and instead of bringing it back and putting the money to work because they can't work out a deal to, and everybody agrees it should be brought back, instead of that, they're leaving our country to get their money because they can't bring their money back into our country because of bureaucratic red tape, because they can't get together, because we, we have a president that can't sit them around a table and get them to approve something. And here's the thing. Republicans and Democrats agree that this should be done. Two and a half trillion. I happen to think it's double that. It's probably five trillion dollars that we can't bring into our country, Lester. And with a little leadership, you'd get it in here very quickly, and it could be put to use on the inner cities and lots of other things, and it would be beautiful. But we have no leadership. And honestly, that starts with Secretary Clinton. All right, you have two minutes on the same question to defend tax increases on the wealthiest American Secretary Clinton. I, I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> jo you know, just, just, just join, uh, join the debate by uh, saying more crazy things. Now, let me it, say hey, There's nothing crazy is about not letting our companies case. bring their money it, back into okay, their this country. Is, this is uh, Secretary Clinton's two minutes, yes. please. Yeah, well, let's start the clock again, Lester. Um, we've looked at your tax proposals. I don't see changes in the corporate tax rates or the kinds of proposals you're referring to that would cause the repatriation, bringing back of money that's stranded overseas. I happen to then you support didn't read that. It. I, happen to, I happen to support that in a way that will actually work to our benefit. But when I look at what you have proposed, you have what is called now the Trump loophole, because it would so advantage you and the business you do. You've proposed a, an name? approach First that ever. has a that $4 this our, this billion dollar tax minutes. benefit for your family. And when you look at what much, you are how proposing, much for my family? it is, Lester, how as much? I said, trumped up, trickle down. Trickle down did not work. It got us into the mess we were in in 2008 and 9. Slashing taxes on the wealthy hasn't worked, and a lot of really smart, wealthy people know that. And they are saying, hey, we need to do more to make the contributions we should be making to rebuild the middle class. I don't think top-down works in America. I think building the middle class, investing in the middle class, making college debt-free so more young people can get their education, helping people refinance their tax their, their debt from college at a lower rate. Those are the kinds of things that will really boost the economy. Broad-based, inclusive growth is what we need in America, not more advantages for people at the very top. Mr. Trump, we're Typical politician, all talk, no action, sounds good, doesn't work, never going to happen. Our country is suffering because people like Secretary Clinton, have made such bad decisions in terms of our jobs and in terms of